Well, hello there, person. My, have I got something fun to show you this time with Wraithbinder. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I kind of had half implemented a long time ago. But, but, here, let's just get into it, yeah? This is so cool because you can make a little army by binding the creeps as wraiths. So, the name of the game is Wraithbinder. Whenever you kill something, you bind it as a wraith to you. It becomes part of your team. When that's another player, it's pretty powerful. That that player's now on your team and all the damage they do and the people they kill and everything become on your team too. But check this out. When you go and you kill a creep, boom, lightning. Now that little creep is my part of my team. On my uh, part of my little army I'm building. And uh, if they die again, so I killed them once, they became a wraith. If they die again, they will die permanently. So they 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 only Whoops, see there he goes. <laughs> I just lost him. Um, but you can build up a nice little army. So let's just go ahead and play this, see how this plays out a little bit. Not only can I uh, do this, but of course uh, the bots I have here in the match can also build themselves a little army. And uh, the wraiths will follow you around the little... Um, uh, the creep... I call them creep wraiths. Oh, I'm actually playing on the um, a controller right now. It's really actually pretty fun. I don't normally do this. I'm usually always on my keyboard. Well, oh, this guy's running away from super fast. What's he doing? What the heck was that? That was crazy. My guy finally caught up. Let's go somewhere that we're gonna find. Oh, you know what? We can probably we'll probably find some stuff this way. Look at him pathfinding. That's amazing. Whoa, look at this secret path over here. Whoa. So, there will be some... Ooh, look at him. Is he gonna find the way over here? Oh my gosh, I'm impressed. Way to go, little guy. Let's find some enemies and stuff. Oh, hey, this is kind of fun too. So, if, um... You can use your wraiths to steal bases if... Let's see if it'll work. Now, see, sometimes, um... You can get enough wraiths going. Oh, here we go. There we go. I got three wraiths. Let's see if we can get enough of them to distract that guardian. And then we can go over here and steal his base. Oh, dang. It's not working. He's not distracted enough. But you can steal bases that way, which is really fun. Because whenever you steal a base, you basically take on uh, that team's mender, which is the thing that heals you. And the Guardian as well becomes part of your team, so the Guardian will fire at enemies. Um, so it's really awesome to steal bases, and you get points for it too, so check it out. Like when you look at your uh, stats and stuff like that, it's, it tracks how many bases you have. So everybody's still got one base right now, but once you start stealing bases, then your bases number goes up. Alright, let's keep playing. Oh, these guys are these guys are the kind of race that you cannot bind, because once you kill them... Wait, no, you can! I've never bought one of these guys before yet. This is super cool. So these are explosive, um, explosive creeps. Whenever they get near an enemy, they will just explode and do a, a lot of explosive damage. Something I haven't implemented yet, though, is getting creeps to follow you through teleport. So I'm not going to use that teleport here. Here we go. Start getting some of these fat guys. These guys have a lot of hit points. Oh, no. My other little creep blew up. And because the creep killed, because the creep got the kill, I didn't get, once again, because the creep got the kill, I didn't get the ra the creep wraith. Dang. What the heck was that? I just came and kill steeled, um, <laughs> the, that creep had almost killed Era, and I came in and kill steeled, got Era and the creep. Wow, that was really, really ganked right there. I ganked the heck out of Era. Check it out, now I got a really tall, big, fat guy following me, and a little creep guy. Gosh, these little explosive creeps are, guys are dangerous. They're fast and dangerous. Let's get somewhere on the map we haven't been, yeah? So, okay, so talking about other things I've been working on lately, desyncs. I was talking about that in the last video. I'm working on getting the multiplayer code started. Which means that I'm working first on determinism. Determinism basically means that each one of the clients in the game, each one of the peers, every player basically will be on a different computer, right? Let's call those clients. So uh, each one of the clients 
Whoa! Once again, Avi just appearing out of nowhere. I think I did something wrong with the render system this week. Got to, got to work on that. Because uh, he shouldn't have just been visible like that. What's going on? Why isn't that... Oh, the Guardian's dead. Yeah, there's definitely a render issue. See that? That Guardian was not actually there. Oh, he is there! What the heck? This is so weird! I created some bugs this week, that's for sure. Um, okay, so anyways, desyncs. Um, those are th those are situations where one client uh, is playing out the game in a certain way, and another client is playing out the game in a different way, even though they have exactly the same inputs. So I've fixed a couple things this week, uh, as far as desyncs go, because of my awesome new tool, the state machine that tracks everything and plays things back and compares and hashes all that stuff. Uh, I've been able to find a bunch of desyncs this week. Actually, I think I've fixed at least three or four. Which is actually pretty significant. I'm telling you, it took me months and months, if not an entire year in my last real-time multiplayer video game to find these desyncs and fix them. Um, so anyway, to fix three or four in one week is pretty significant. So, one of them was um, the AI system was sort of cheating in a way. Uh, what happens is the AI system um, runs some code and decides, okay, this AI should press this X button at this time, or now the, the AI should press the up button or the down button. Let's steal this. Uh, so basically the AI system really is something that is just generating input, right? At the, or that's what it should be ideally. It should just be a system that generates input and then the input system goes and applies that input. Um, and, uh, and that's the input system should be totally responsible for uh, input, and the AI system should. So what was happening was um, the AI system was cheating and saying, "All right, when a, for example, when a um, an AI wants to build a building, it sets a building type, right? It's like, okay, there's the the block. You can build a mine. You can build um, a bridge, right? And so, let's say the AI wanted to build a mine, and it just automatically set its last building type to mine so that it could build a mine really fast and um, that was cheating because it wasn't using the input system so when my, my state machine caught that and basically realized that hey when you recorded this input um, the building type the last building type was this you set it to mine but now that I'm playing back this input I didn't get in any of that input um, that said change to mine so it was nothing so that was so cool. I found that D thing. I was like, this is easy to fix. All I got to do is get the, the AI to actually press the buttons to select a different building. And that was it. So basically uh, now um, the AI does that pretty smartly. Here's another bug we got going right here. Um, I'm just stuck in this whole pose right here where I'm just like power animation the entire time. Power animation forever and ever and ever. Okay. Um. What can we get? I'm like I'm winning here. Look how much how many race I already have. And if I get some of these creep race over here to fight this guy over here, yeah, come on, fight this. Guy. Oh, he's got a creep wraith over here. Kill your creep wraith. Oh hey, nope. I'm still doing the power animation. I thought I was. Which button is um? Here we go. BAM! Sweet, there's only one guy left to kill. That's pretty cool. Whoa, whoa, look, he had some guys. Attacking backwards because my guy is stuck in a power animation forever! Yeah. So, um, bugs aside, this has actually been a very powerful and productive week. I'm excited about this, but I'm, I'm most excited about these creep wraiths. This adds a whole new dimension to Wraithbinder. And it really lives up to its name a little bit more now, don't you think? Right? Not only can you bind players as Wraiths, but you can bind the little creep guys as Wraiths. What the heck is that? Well, that was Tom, but I think he was lying down. Look, he built a mine! Oh, I wish we could have seen what he, when he selected the button. Oh, but of course that's not going to happen on our screen. He's just building mines and mines and mines all over the same place. 
Here, let's get one of these. Let's get this creep guy to come over here. And there'll be a huge explosion. No, don't kill him! Let him step on the mine! You are stupid. Okay, let's steal this base, even though the world is eroding. And it's about to fall away into nothing, anyways. Let's just do that. Hey, this is great. So, um, not very often have I actually played an entire match on these dev log videos. This is pretty fun. Let's go ahead and play this all the way to the end. Bugs included. Power animation the entire way. Let's do this. Yes! Power! All the way! Where's... Okay, so where's the blue player? I just noticed another bug. The, uh, the mini-map is showing the erosion ring too far into the center. So it's supposed to be... The erosion ring is supposed to show you where the world is crushing in, but it's showing it all the way in the middle already. That white ring in the middle? That's not accurate. It's supposed to be further out right now. Man. This week, uh... I fixed some bugs, and I added twice as many. I'm the hey, there he There's Kia! Kill Kia! I need to meditate. I have meditate! Oh shoot, which one's meditate? There we go, meditate! Deal! I was almost dead the whole time there. Right, sweet. We used up all our matter points. Yes, Avi! Help me kill this. Wait, is Avi on the other team too? I think so. Alright, we did it! Victory before the erosion even happened that time. Yes. And I'm the MVP. Of course. Of course. Right? Yeah, so something confusing too on this, these wraiths. It says seven for everybody. Because technically they're on my team. So we all kind of have seven wraiths. But, so that's confusing. So really I need to fix that up. That should be seven dash 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 dash. Nobody else has wraiths. Sweet, I got a lot of experience. So did Ab though, Ab had a ton of experience. Also bases, bases really needs to be, uh, take a whole, I'm gonna take a screenshot right now. Um, which is, okay, hold on. I got a new keyboard, so I have to freaking figure out what my shortcut is to do that. That's, I think it's, shift, oh. Command, shift, yeah, command, shift, number three, yeah, okay, I think I did it, yeah, alright, <laughs> yes, okay, well, there we have it, um, what else did we do here in this match, dude, look how much healing Ab did, 297, did he go back to his base a lot, I covered a lot of distance, 4,700, Mia also covered 4,000 in distance. All right, cool. So we played a whole match, talked about some things, did some stuff, showed some fun things. Hope you had a good time, person. We'll catch you next time. All right, let's see if I can even figure out the shortcut to turn this off, huh? I don't even know what's that.